Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Sketch for a Year. If you're new here, I'm Christine and I'm an artist. I asked my Instagram followers what medium I should use for today's sketch, and it was a close call between watercolor and collage, but collage was the big winner. This week's prompt is the saguaro cactus blossom, and I'll be using mixed media to do today's sketchbook entry. We have a lot to cover today, so I'll keep this short, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm challenging myself to fill the pages of my sketch book every week for a year and I'm taking you along with me. Let's get started. Welcome to the art table everybody. Let's get started with our materials. You'll need some mixed media paper as well as a variety of colors of acrylic paints. I'm using a glass paint palette, definitely need some strong scissors, and I'll be using gloss medium as my adhesive. I learned about this on YouTube so I'm hoping it turns out really well. I've got my glass jar with my paint brushes and some water. I've been using flat brushes a lot lately and I really like them. You can use any type of paintbrush to follow along with today's tutorial. Now you can use construction paper for this or cardstock, but I decided to make my own out of mixed media paper. Mixed media paper is a lot like cold press watercolor paper. It's got a nice texture to it and I'll be using my acrylic paints to come up with the different colors in the saguaro cactus blossom. Here's my reference photo, and from here you can see there's a few different shades of green. The flower is sort of a pale yellow color. The center of the flower is a nice golden yellow. In some views it looks like it has some orange tinge to it. I'm going to go more for a reddish orange in my collage. You can make this your own and do whatever color you like. The first thing I'm going to do is create the paper for my cactus. I'm going to use a couple shades of green and yellow here because I want to make sure there's some variation in my color that it's not just a single flat color. I want to make sure the painting looks like it has a lot of different shades and texture in it. I'm not using neat brush strokes at all. I'm just having a lot of fun and being really expressive. on to making the petals. Now the petals have sort of a pale yellow color to them so I'll be mixing the yellow with some white along with some red just to give it the same dimension and interest that we had with the green. Now the center of the flower is a yellow shade, but I don't want it to get lost behind the petals, so I'm using a deeper shade of red than my reference photo. fun during this part. I really enjoyed being playful and expressive. It was nice to not have any rules to follow. 
It's honestly been a while since I've been in this place creating my art. I'm really happy you guys chose to do a collage because it gives me a chance to get back to a playful space that I haven't been in in a while. This is why I don't think I'll ever use construction paper to do a collage because I would miss out on this part of the process, which was so much fun. Now you guys know, I am on the hunt for texture, so I didn't want to just stop there. I know they already have some texture, but I was scared of it getting lost when I got to cutting and pasting the paper. So I'm going back in with a smaller flat brush to add some more detail. few mess ups the past couple weeks using color pencil and pastel on still wet paint so I'm gonna let these dry overnight and I'll see you tomorrow. So now that my paint is fully dry I'm gonna go back in with my wax pastels from Karen Dash to add even more texture to start cutting. Now the cactus has ridges all around its body so to get that effect I'm going to cut this paper into strips. First I'm going to cut my page in half and then I'm going to cut strips that are about a quarter of an inch or a half inch wide. Now it's time to start cutting out the pieces of our flower. First I'll cut out the stem out of this light green color. It's sort of like a U shape and I'm doing these in a few different sizes. Now to cut out the petals, I'm going to cut my paper into one inch strips and then I'm going to cut each of these into small rectangles. I'll use kind of a zigzag pattern so they're narrow at the base and wide at the top.
finally I'm cutting out the center of each flower, which is super duper easy. It's just an oval or circular shape. Now that I have all my pieces, it's time to start pasting them down onto my sketchbook. First, let's start with pasting down the ribs of our cactus. I did some research on the best adhesive to use if you're doing a collage, and this is what an artist recommended. It's the Gloss Acrylic Medium from Golden. I almost use glue stick or regular Elmer's glue, but you guys just throw that stuff away and get yourself a bottle of this. It was perfect for this collage. The adhesion felt really, really strong. I didn't feel like the pieces were slipping or getting unglued easily. They are not moving anywhere. I am a convert. I will never use glue again. Gloss medium is where it's at. Next up are these stems, followed by the center of the flower, then the flower petals. Now that I've got all my pieces pasted down, I'm going to go back in with my wax pastels to add even more texture. Here is the final artwork. You guys, I had so much fun with this one. Thank you for choosing collage as the medium for this week. I will definitely be making more collages in the future. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sketch for a Year. If you did, leave me a comment and make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss next week, where we'll be doing the apple blossom in watercolor and colored pencil. I'm not ready to give up on that medium just yet, but you'll just have to tune in to see how it goes. Share this video with somebody who needs some creative inspiration, and I'll see you guys next week.